What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a head to head where we're going to put the Air Fun Free Pro 3s. These guys will go up head to head against uh, Airbuds that I consider one of the one of, if not the top Airbud in my rotation under 100 bucks uh, product label mate, the Air Fun Air Pro 3s. Let me get my hand out the way there so you guys can see them. All right, this should be a very interesting head-to-head. -head. I'm waiting to see how the new guys hold up against uh, the champs. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, for those who want to see a price, uh, specs, and app breakdown for each of these earbuds, as always, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the unboxing video for both of these. That way you can go ahead and check that out. And then come on back and join us for this head-to-head. -head. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out. As you can already tell, these are two totally different form factors. Let's go ahead and pull them. You've got, obviously, we got the uh, Air Free Pro 3s here in the, in the uh, right hand. We got the Air Pro 3s in the left hand. Uh, man, the, the naming conventions are just, just tearing me up. All right, so as you can see, both of them two totally different form factors. You got the pencil style against the in-ear style. Uh, both of them, despite their form factors, are very, very comfortable. Whoops, dropped that one there. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on the uh, Air Pro 3s. Uh, again, nice, light, very small, uh, not mm, just small enough uh, stem. You got your Air Fun logo here on it and uh, the uh, glossy bronze. Of course, you got the little gloss ring around the uh, touch surface, which is like concaved in. So that way you uh, you know exactly where to press in order to um, actuate functionality. I love, let me make sure, I think I got audio playing out of one of these. Hold on. Okay. All right. I had audio playing out of the, the free flow threes. Let me put these back in real quick. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to them. All right. Like I was saying, you got the, I like the matte gloss uh, combination there. I am rocking the CP360 ear tips uh, with these guys. I find them to be very comfortable. But again, a very light earbud. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out the Free Pro 3s. Now again, very small uh, form factor. Uh, very comfortable because of their size. Very discreet in the ear. Uh, you got, a, of course, you can got adjustable uh, wings and ear tips. I went with the, I think these are the Omnis. Are these Omnis? No, I think these are the, yes, these are the Omnis. Um, so I went and got those on here. Uh, again, very comfortable. Well, again, you get a proper wing ear tip combination. These guys are, uh, can stay in your ear long term. Uh, don't have a problem with them at all. As you can see, I like the, uh, again, they're going with the matte slash gloss finish. I like, they got the Air Fun logo here on the touch surface and gloss, and they also have a gloss trim around the uh, touch control area. Uh, very nice. Again, that's about everything else is pretty much a uh, matte finish, which is, uh, again, a very nice fit and feel to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull my phone out. We're going to take a look at how both of these look in the air. Stay strapped in. All right, and here's how the uh, Air Fun Air Pro 3s look. Let me pull my stylus out so we can use it as a pointer. All right, as you can see, doesn't take up a lot of the ear well here. Uh, usually gets a nice and snug fit just on the other side of this, uh, your cartilage here. And of course, with that twist and lock uh, feature, it stays in uh, long term. You don't, they do not fall out. Uh, I've had these in long term uh, with no issues whatsoever. And again, proper ear tip makes all the difference. And here we are with the Free Pro 3s. As you can see, it takes up a little bit more of the ear well uh, than the uh, Air Pro 3s, mainly because of their form factor. But again, uh, still very comfortable, very uh, low, profile, low profile, listen at me, and uh, discreet as well. Again, when you got the combination of the uh, proper wing size for your ear, as well as the proper ear tip for the ear canal, these guys get in and stay in as well. Very comfortable. Uh, um, you can easily forget that you're wearing these um, long term. 
uh, they, they get so comfortable. Uh, I almost fell, I did fall asleep with them in. I didn't get uh, any uh, irritation or anything. Uh, granted, I didn't sleep all night with them on, but it, you know, I, when I woke, I snapped myself up, realizing I still had them in my ear. <coughs> Excuse me. So I had to take them out. But even though I did take them out, I didn't have any type of irritation uh, afterwards. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and finish our comparison testing, and we'll come back with that all important sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Air Fun Air Pro 3s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Air Fun Air Pro 3s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Air Fun Air Pro 3s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Air Fun Air Pro 3s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Air Fun 3 Pro 3 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the AirFun Free Pro 3 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the AirFun Free Pro 3 earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the AirFun Free Pro 3 earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we're out. We got the AirFun, excuse me, the AirFun Air Pro 3s in the air. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, we're going to do an ANC test. See how they sound. As you can see, we have it in ambient mode. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and switch it over to noise canceling and see how they sound. All right, I got noise canceling turned on. It definitely got a little quieter. As you see, I got some traffic running back and forth. I could barely hear that car. I got a couple of vehicles coming to see what we got. Yeah, ANC is working very good. Very good ANC on these earbuds. Uh, very impressed with it. I can barely hear these cars moving. All right, so you got some really good ANC for these. Very impressed. Uh, this has been an ANC test for the Airfoot Air Free Pro Air Three Pros. All right, we are out doing the ANC test for the AirFun Free Pro 3s. As you see, we're coming up. We got traffic going around us all the way around. We got some good uh, ambient sound. I know if you're here with the mic, traffic going past. All right, I have them currently in ambient sound mode right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and switch these over to noise canceling. Press and hold on the left. All right, it got normal. Now noise canceling is turned on. And I could definitely tell the difference. I can still hear some ambient sound bleeding through from the vehicles, but it is uh, not bad. Again, I just, just keeping it 100. I did uh, switch out the air tips from with the largest set they had inside, their, uh, inside the package for a better seal. I did not change the wing, because I figured that combination was pretty good. And it's, it seems to be doing the job. I mean, I can still hear some residual sound from some, some of the cars coming by, but it muffles out a good bit. Um, I'm not sure where I would rank these as far as noise canceling goes. Again, I'm not using uh, any audio. I'm not playing. This is, uh, I'm not playing any audio, let's put it that way. This is strictly the noise canceling and how powerful it is by itself, okay? As you can tell, I got vehicles and everything coming back and forth and I can still hear some of the tires. It's not as loud as they would be if I had it on uh, ambient mode. So this is, uh, so my thoughts on this one, it's, is it great? No. Is it good? I say it's okay. I wouldn't say it was a good, uh, good ANC on these. It could be better. By yeah, it definitely could be better. But it looks like it. That's what it is. So, this has been an ANC test.
for the Air Fun Free Pro 3. Not bad. Well, <laughs> could be better. All right, we are back in for the sound test. Uh, we've got the Air Pro 3s paired up and in the ears. As you can tell, we are in the ambient mode settings, so it doesn't sound like I'm yelling at you guys. Just want to make you show you a quick run through of the settings I have. I have game mode turned on. That should help with uh, latency. And of course, let's go ahead and dive into uh, the Airfun equalizer. As you can see, I have it set to my custom equalizer. And this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and pause it. If you like, I think I get the best sound out of it this way. Um, so because of app, acts kind of funny in a uh, split screen. I wanted to show you these guys first and then we're gonna go ahead and dive into our music. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We got Old Money already queued up, so let's make sure we had our optimum listening level. All right, we are there. So let's go ahead and dive in. Right off the bat, Man, the the brightness is there all already. Very clean. That piano is nice and crisp in the background. Man, this these are really good. I, very every time I listen to these, I'm, I get more impressed every day. All right, now we got the background instruments. The string instruments are coming in. You know what? I don't even have this in uh, noise canceling. Let's go ahead and switch over here real quick. Let's go back in, put this on noise canceling. I forgot to do that. All right, now it's even, now it's a lot warmer sound, not as bright, but still nice and loud enough. It's giving me a little bit more body. I'm, Got that cello from sound uh, sub bass. Now here comes the chorus. Again, now I went from here to the audio being, well, excuse me, lyrics being from in front of me to on both sides of me. I like the way that transition. Again, still, even in noise canceling, even if it got a little warmer in the sound, still sounds fantastic. Oh my goodness, just really really great sound all right very very clean i liked it even though i did have to go and switch noise canceling on i did not turn that on right off the bat i should have i was just so excited to get started but again very clean sound uh both with and without noise canceling uh it was just very nice it was just one of the best sounds i've heard uh, out of earbuds, especially at this price range. Let's go ahead and go down to our bass song. All right, here we go. Oh, that ba that's that bass hit, and then that sub that rumble. Oh, that sub bass rumble underneath, and it doesn't dissipate as soon as it doesn't dissipate right away. But that bass thump is right on point. Now, the vocals are nice and bright. That auto-tune is, is hitting me. That, that little tinny sound is hitting my ear weird. Music On that high engine. note, but other than that, it sounds really good. I mean, it could be just my ears that I'm get, that's getting that, but it's hitting me. That high note is hitting me kind of weird, but it does sound really good despite that. All right, here goes E40 in it. Uh, okay, now vocals very clean nicely done that bass though that bass is hit and it's clean bass too not no distortion or anything like that very clean bass that sub bass rumble was there uh it's just it's, it's a great sound oh my goodness again with these earbuds that auto tune that high note with the auto tune sound real tinny and it was like hitting a nerve with me um it's just it just does I don't know what it is with I think it I don't know what it is but it just it just seems very very high pitched um tinny sound to me it was get it just hit me wrong again this is just my ears everybody's ears are different everybody hears music different everybody 
you have their audio, you know, takes in their audio different. So it might not affect you the way effect it's affecting me. But other than that, a great sound and that bass and that bass thump and that sub bass rumble that's just ridiculous on these earbuds. And these are under a hundred bucks, man. This is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, going home. There we go. Again, nice bright sound. Got that sub bass rumble from the keyboard. And got that knock from the drums. Oh, lead saxophone comes out nice and crisp. Oh man, that is such a crisp sound. I love it. And again, balance. All three songs have balance. None of this being uh, muffled away or anything like that. I love it. All right, we about to hit the high note here. Here we go. Oh yeah, very crisp. I love it. Now we got the rest of the band coming in. Uh, this sounds fantastic. Uh, you got uh, sound separation is great. This, it's just widens out the sound stage. It's just this, these earbuds are impressive, man. Oh my goodness. All right, these earbuds are phenomenal. I just, oh, for under a hundred bucks, these, there's a reason why these guys are king, in my opinion, when it comes to the budget earbuds, is these guys, oh, they, they just sound really, really good on all three levels. So, mm -mm, I got to get my, gather my thoughts here. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out, and we're going to bring up the Air Pro, the Air Pro 3s. Oh, excuse me, the Free Pro 3, sorry. <laughs> We're going to have them go through the sound test. It should be interesting. Stay strapped in. All right, just to keep it 100, guys, there was an update for the uh, Free Pro 3s. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, going to optimize uh, noise canceling. It's going to add an ear, uh, ear adaptive mode for uh, three types of ears. And then, of course, they're going to do some optimization for the ambient sound mode. Not, uh, I don't think these are, I don't think these are a big, well, we'll look at it when we get into the app, but I just wanted to let you guys know that when I went to go ahead and put them in, this app, this update was available. So we're going to run this and then we will continue on with the sound test. All right, we are back in. We got the free pro threes in the air. As you can see, we are in ambient mode. And like I mentioned in the update, uh, so we let's go ahead and swing over to and uh, put it in uh, noise canceling mode. All right, noise cans have been turned on, and as you can see, these are the different types of three ear to ear settings or three types of ear that you can choose from. All right, you can definitely tell the difference in noise canceling settings. All right, so. The, All right, I have a ticking clock over here, and I just want to quickly go through these three, and you can tell which one is quieter. All right, I'm going to leave it at default. Wait a minute, actually, you know what? I can't really tell the difference there, but we're going to leave it at default for now because that's the only other way the Air Fun, the Air Pro 3s had it. So let's go ahead and turn on gaming mode. All right, and here's my EQ setting. We got the customized version. This is my EQ settings for the Free Pro, uh, Air, uh, the Free Pro 3s. Oh my goodness, I'm getting this so mixed up between these two. All right, if you wanna try that, go ahead and pause it and check it out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and slide over to our music, we got old money already queued up. So let's go ahead and get into our optimal listening level. All right, we're there. Let's hit it. All right, back it up. Already, oh, nice bright sound. Wow. Okay. 
very clear, very clean vocals. Got the got the better uh, detailing with the echoing. The piano sounds nice and crisp. Music licensing. And here we go with the background instruments. Oh my wow! Oh wow! Okay, nice. Why it opened up the sound stage so much? Got that sub bass from the cello. Very clean background instruments. Oh man, these are sounding very good. All right, now we got the chorus coming in. Oh wow, these sound so clear, so clean. Again, the, the sound stage is opened up. You got music all left to the right, just. Great sound. Oh, wow. Okay, that was, they sound, oh, they so good. They sound phenomenal in that. Bright sound. Oh, my goodness, that was just so good. The vocals were crystal clear. Oh, okay. That was just sound, it was just amazing sound. I think somebody's in trouble. Let's go ahead and get, and get, to our bass song, see how they do. Here we go. Oh no. The oh, this bass is ridiculous. I love it. And that sub bass rumble doesn't dissipate. Okay. T e e e oh, excuse me, T Pain's here. And that that high tinny sound is not as bad. On these, oh, but it's uh, crystal clear though. I mean, it's there, but it's not hitting my nerve as bad as it did with the Free Pro Threes. Oh, so good. Oh, and that bass hit is so clean. It's, here's E40. Oh my goodness. This is such a great sound. Crystal clear vocals, and that bass is ridiculous. I press I -O. Oh. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, goodness. Oops. Oh, so good. That bass, oh, so powerful. That sub bass rumble is on point. Oh, this whole thing is on point. Mm, somebody's in trouble. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get going home. Here we go. All right, again, very very bright, nice overall volume. I pressed I -O. Great sub bass. Oh my gosh. That lead saxophone is so sharp coming in. Again, it's still got nice nice balance with the background instruments and it got that thump with the, the drums very important oh sounds so good here's a high note here we go oh so good so good now we got the rest of the band coming in oh this is a Fantastic sound stage widens out. Still got the balance, the crispness of the instruments. Sorry about that, man. I hit the power button <laughs> on accident. That was my bad. Uh, again, fantastic sound from these earbuds. I just, I was just blown away by them. Oh my goodness. Another. Uh. <laughs> Oh man, well, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and we're gonna come back. Uh, we go and we're gonna talk about it. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. Let's go ahead and talk about how these two uh, compare to one another. Let's go ahead and first talk about the uh, Air Pro 3s. Great sound, great balance, uh, great volume uh, right off the bat. The brightness of the audio and everything was fantastic. Um, 
clarity was definitely there. Uh, the bass, I, I can't say much more, too much more about how great the bass is, especially with the sub bass rumble. Um, the only thing that got to me was the tinniness of that auto tune, but I'm not going to hold it against these earbuds because I'm hearing it on different earbuds as well. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to uh, dock them uh, for that. Other than that, great sounding earbuds. Uh, I, I, like I said, well, these are, uh, coming into this video, these guys were, are the, uh, top of my food chain when it comes to the under the, uh, budget earbuds, anything under a hundred bucks. These guys are, uh, at the top of that, at the top of that ladder coming into this video. Great sound, great bass, uh, uh, just, uh, just a lot to love about having these earbuds, uh, in the rotation and I would recommend them to anybody. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the Free Pro 3s now. These guys, the new kids on the block, they are amazing. Especially for the size, it, it packs in such great sound. First of all, uh, the great natural volume on these, natural brightness, the natural volume on these guys. These guys get it hella loud. Okay, uh, these guys get hella loud as well, but uh, man, the, the, between these, it's insane how loud these guys get. But with that, you don't lose anything. That's the important part. You got the clarity as well, you know, it's because it gets so bright. It's, the clarity definitely shines through uh, with these earbuds. And it can, the bass is, oh, the bass is ridiculous. Uh, that thump. Uh, from the E40 song and that sub bass rumble, oh, it hits. It doesn't dissipate too fast, so you oh, you get to enjoy it. It's so it's such a well done, very well done as far as the tuning in these earbuds by Airfun. And let me see what else. Again, the string instruments in the first song, very crisp, very clean. You could definitely uh, pick them out of the uh, out of the background instruments. Same with the uh, Air Pro 3s, uh, just a really, really good sound all overall uh, for this for these earbuds. I just love the way they sound. And let me real quick, let me jump into the uh, third song. I already talked about the bass from the second song. I talked about the the acoustics not, uh, from the first song. Let's go ahead and talk about the third song real quick. The lead saxophone was nice and sharp on it, but not too sharp where it was piercing but it was a nice sharp sound out of them. Very impressed with it. Uh, and of course with the background instruments and with that brightness and everything, they came through crystal clear and it sound great. All right, so now in the pit now comes down to this, uh, which I consider the Airfun Air Pro 3s my top billing, my top earbuds under a hundred bucks. This was my number one coming into this video and I have to say they have just been replaced. My new number one would be or are the Airfun Free Pro 3s. These guys, I mean, they sound great. They both sound great, but these just had a little bit more punch in all categories than the Air, than the Air Pro 3s do. Just a little bit more. Again, uh, if anyone decides to say, no, I want the Air Pro 3s to be my number one, I wouldn't even argue that. But to me, the Free Pro 3s are the new top dog under 100 bucks in my rotation, hands down. These guys are phenomenal. So they get the win tonight. This was a great head-to-head. -head. I know a lot of people ask me about this in the comment sections of other videos. So I wanted to make sure I get this out to you. So let's go ahead and get this uh, wrapped up. All right, so this has been the head-to-head -head between the Air, Fun, the Air Fun Air Pro 3s and the new, in, the new champs of the, of the uh, budget uh, earbud, the Air, the Air Fun Free Pro 3s. This has been a great head-to-head. -head. I really enjoyed it. Um, a shout out to all the uh, subscribers and, and, and uh, viewers in the comment section that requested this video. I was happy to get it out for you. 
I had to try to make sure I could fit it in in between whatever everything else I got going on. So I wanted to make sure I definitely got this one out uh, before too long. So there you have it. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me as I continue to do head-to-heads like this, I got Gauntlet series is coming up. Uh, and then, of course, we got the end of the year. So, you know, we got our top fives, our top tens coming up for 2023. And I got a top 10 uh, live stream that I want to do also to bring to give you guys my top my top 10 earbuds overall for 2023. And that, like I said, that's going to be a live stream. So I hope you guys will tune in. I'll let you know on the uh, channels, on all my social media sites. That way you guys can come out and check me out and we can match. You can check out my list. You can bring your list. We can mix and match and see w if we got anything in common. Argue about the ones that we don't. It'll be a great time overall. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my uh, social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, Twitter, or X, fan base. I'm still working on getting that one in, up and running the way I want, but I'm also on there. I'm at Ronald Tech on all of them, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The King has been replaced. Long live the free Pro 3s. Peace.